Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, just a quick note about my manicure. It is almost election day and this is my nonpartisan encouragement for everyone to get out and vote. So I'm doing my very first tutorial and it was actually a requested tutorial, which I was so honored by the request. And that was to show the uh, waterfall feature uh, for a mini album and how to put together a waterfall feature that holds multiple pictures or place for picture and journaling um, that's magnetized. So uh, this is an album that's in process, but I'm going to walk you through the steps. It's actually really easy to create once you know how to create it. That's what I always say. You don't know what you don't know. So for this, we're going to use an example. So this will be an example of a page from a mini album. We will need a strip of paper that will be magnetized that will eventually hold the pages down. So this can be a scrap. I wouldn't recommend going any narrower than one inch, two inches or two and a half inches seems to definitely work better, but this happens to be a scrap. Then you will need one piece of paper cut at four and a quarter inches square. This is going to be the piece at the very last photo mat at the bottom of our waterfall. And then you're going to need seven pieces, four and a quarter across by four and three quarters deep. This will leave room for a four inch by four inch photo with just a quarter inch uh, matting. All of these seven are going to be scored on the four and three quarter side at half an inch. Okay, so let me quickly grab my scoreboard and show you. What you're going to do is you're going to take the pieces and on the four and three quarter side, Again, you're going to score a half an inch. If it's easier for you to score, I find it harder to score way over here on the edge. Um, but you want to score a half an inch right here. For me, I can get my hands on it better. And just knowing that this is four and a quarter by four and three quarters and score at the quarter inch mark. All right, so that's all you're going to use the scoreboard for is just scoring seven of these. Then the easy and the fun part comes is getting to put it all together. So you can use any kind of strong adhesive. You can use a tape adhesive. Um, just a double, side, double sided sticky tape. Um, you can use your ATG gun. You can use wet glue, whatever you're most comfortable with. You can use your art glitter glue. Um, you can use your beacon three in one. This is my favorite, um, but lots of different options. For the video, I'm just gonna use a little bit of ATG. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get adhesive on this tab, okay? I just scored a half an inch there. And you're gonna center this this is the strip that's going to hold everything down so you're going to center it so just eyeball it make sure you're pretty close to center and i feel like for <coughs> the demonstration that that will work perfectly now uh for oh you see how tricky those magnets are there are two different size magnets in here, and I have both of them in my hands. I have um, a six millimeter by one millimeter. <laughs> so there are two magnets. Here, see how thin they are? <coughs> I also have a six millimeter by a two millimeter, so they're twice as thick. When you put them they are really jumpy. <clears throat> when you put them up next to each other, you can really see the difference. I'm going to hold them really carefully for you. So for this, 
particular feature. I find this smaller one millimeter magnets better and I will try to put a link in the description below. Some things the two millimeter ones work fine for. <coughs> the easiest way for me, um, I like to use the mini glue dots to apply the magnets. So I'm just gonna roll a glue dot out, stick it with my pokey tool and pick it off. And I'm gonna put that glue dot on one side of those two magnets are both together. Then I'm gonna lift it up. I'm gonna come in, because remember you're gonna leave a little bit of paper, a little bit of room for your matting. So come in a little further than you think you should. Because you want the, when you put the layering paper over it, you want to be able to close down over the edge of the magnet. All right, then my trick is grab a second glue dot, put it on the other side of both magnets, and then let it fall. And when it falls, push it down, and now you will have the magnet closure. One magnet on each side. Definitely recommend uh, going over top of it with a strong double-sided adhesive. You know, so I'd put a strip of double-sided tape over each of those magnets before you put your um, decorative paper over the top of them because you're gonna put decorative paper over the top of those magnets to disguise them. So that's that's how I like to put the magnets on. I find it easier than trying to line them up. And I find the glue dots give me a quick stick compared to trying to put them down with wet glue. So then you're gonna open your magnet strip and I know it sounds crazy, but I like to do the very first one, or the first couple at least, upside down. So, makes it easier for me to have it a little closer to me. So we're gonna get our adhesive on the flap. And like I said, you can use wet adhesive, you can use dry adhesive. If you use a dry adhesive, just make sure that you don't have any hanging over. I wanna get this centered as best I can. So before I let the flap fall, let me get this centered as best I can. Give myself a margin. That looks good. It looks pretty dang close to centered. And then I'm going to push that down. Okay, make sure that goes down. From here, it gets really, really easy. So you're going to take each one of your seven sheets that are scored at the half inch, you're gonna apply adhesive, you're gonna fold it down, and you're gonna, don't let the bottom stick, you're gonna butt the second one right up to the first one. This way you can kind of see that it's straight. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna let that drop. I'm not gonna push it down. I'm just gonna let it sit there for a minute because I wanna make sure that it looks straight. Once I feel good and it looks straight, I'm gonna put number two down. Okay, then we're gonna go keep rolling. And let that fall. Make sure it looks good and straight and even. Now see, it looks a little crooked to me. So since I haven't stuck that tape down, I'm gonna zhuzh that just a little bit because I want that to look straighter. Now it looks straighter to me. Now I'll go ahead and press it down. So we're gonna keep going and depending on the size of your page, will depend on exactly how many. I find anywhere between six and eight total photo spots tends to work nicely for a mini album gives you a lot of real estate, a lot of room to work, and um, it doesn't bulk it up too, too much. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go for it and try to get all of the seven down. So again, you're gonna take it, you're gonna fold your flap under, butt it up to the one above it, so you get it looks like you got it good and centered
<coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and then you're going to just <coughs> press it down. And I think I'm only going to be able to fit six. <coughs> Excuse me, I got to take a drink of tea. Mm, okay. Let's try to get another one down. <coughs> there we go. All right. Now, I'm trying to make sure that the top and the bottom margin are going to be the same. So for this one, I do not have room for the seventh on my pretend sheet. <coughs> then the last piece, this is the piece that does not have a score line. You're going to go ahead and glue it up, tape it up, <coughs> however you want to adhere it down is fine. And then, since this one doesn't have a flap, you're going to butt it up to the one ahead of it, but you're going to lay it flat, <coughs> all the way flat down. And now it looks like another page of that waterfall, but that last one is just glued down. Close the magnet. Once you glue it down into your album, then you have your complete waterfall. And remind, you know, keep in mind, these are going to be stronger when you cover them with your decorator paper. But now you have your waterfall. And then you can take this waterfall page once you've built it and you can lay it right into whatever mini album you're working on and you'll have a beautiful waterfall feature. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was my very first tutorial. I thank you for stopping by and I hope you have a fantastic day. Remember also, get out and vote. Thank you.